All right, we are back with another Diablo Immortal video, but in this one, guys, we gotta take the glasses off because it's getting serious. We have some potential new leaks about the Paragon overhaul system. Let's jump straight into it. So in this Reddit post that was posted about 12 hours ago, it says Paragon uh, system overhaul. Their goal in this person, uh, this individual apparently, um, based off the comment section at least, uh, is apparently pretty reliable. He was the one, or they are the one that leaked uh, the familiars like six months before familiars were even launched, leaked about uh, the Tempest and all those other things. So. Well, apparently this individual has some pretty reliable leaks none of this is in fact confirmed by blizzard i want to state that ahead of time these are all just potential leaks but it seems like this individual has some pretty good leaks so anyway let's get straight to it so paragon system overall goal is to simplify the system and make it easier to configure to reduce the complication of adding too many difficulties that over over stratifies the player population whoa this is some big words. <laughs> Secondary, make the system more beginner friendly. So A, adjustments. One, <laughs> difficulty reduced from 15 to four. Difficulties, I'm, I'm assuming that's a combination of um, Hell and Inferno difficulties. So they're reducing them down to four, potentially. Is that, what, is, that, is that what that sounds like? So Hell one to, oh yeah, okay. So two, Hell one to Hell eight is the new Hell one. Inferno one, two, three, is the new hell two and then inferno one to six is the new hell three question mark now obviously this this is a little bit broken and and, and i mean i'm assuming this is supposed to be like four to six four five six so that would be three infernos three infernos um but if this and then succeeding difficulties after inferno six is the new hell four okay so basically it sounds like they are compressing the difficulties to instead of having 15 of them down to well this is three but i guess four being the hell four whenever we get new difficulties um this is this could be good for a number of reasons so as a new player coming to the game or a returning player it can seem impossible to catch up uh and if there's 15 different difficulties you have to climb from yowza that's intense but if there's only three or four that makes it feel a little bit more tangible of a task or a goal so there's that um b so paragon level reduced from uh, 1399 to 299 items will automatically adjust accordingly after this update so not only are they squishing according to this leak uh the hell difficulties they're also squishing the paragon levels um now i'm used to this in games like world of warcraft uh, i used to play the game a lot with my wife shout out to mrs misery hates company but uh in that game, they would lower like numbers as well, like damage numbers would also be lowered. So that way it's not like millions and millions of damage on a screen. Whenever you hit a single thing, it would be like a thousand. So in, in some cases it can be cleaner that way. Uh, that could be what they're doing here. Again, my gut tells me the goal is to make it more beginner friendly, make it seem like it's a little bit more tangible. I know there's people in my live stream that just recently started playing and then like are Paragon level 100 and they're literally light years away from Paragon th um, 1300 and above. So this could be good. C, Paragon Specialization Tree will be reduced from 15 to just five. You'll have the ability to freely select the skills from these five trees and combine them accordingly. The focus of these five specialization trees are the following, PVE, PVP, Offensive, Defensive, and, mo and Mobility. Excuse me. Uh, please take note of the expiring trophies and the uh, feat of strength. These Heliquary bosses are retiring for good interesting so again it sounds like that the paragon leak or overhaul system will also include obviously new paragon systems which is makes sense um but in this leak it sounds like it'll be focused and simplified so pve is one section pv pvp is another offensive defensive mobility i'm curious if, you, if you'll be able to cross reference them and then it says you'll be able to freely select the skills from these five trees and combine oh and combine them accordingly so yes so that would make it seem like if you want to have if you're doing pve you do a pvp pve build and then you can also get like an offensive pve build or a defensive mo pve build or even mobility focus if you're farming which is pretty cool and then same with pvp so if you want to have a more offensive pvp build you could or defensive pvp build I mean, i'm gonna be honest at first glance this sounds pretty cool I, I'm, I'm pretty supportive of this and again none of this is confirmed by blizzard but all in all i think the compression i think a lot would have to go into it i have a lot of follow-up questions that i'm not going to go to the comment section to try to get answers for for obvious reasons because reddit is well we've had our experiences with reddit <laughs> Ultimately, I do think these are good changes if they come 
if they come to fruition and i'm curious if they'll come with the new major update which is what next week by the time you see this video um hopefully we learn something new again we'll probably get some patch notes or something my gut tells me early next week before the launch of the 23rd when the tempest comes out guys i am so hyped for the tempest and i i have actually taken off from work that day so i will uh, my, my actual job because if you guys don't know i don't do this for a full time um but that way i can actually focus in on the game and really grind the tempest and hopefully make a ton of videos that you guys will enjoy so that's it for this one guys I, I, again my overall opinion is that these are good changes if if the crunch is true and that we are truly getting a adjustment to make everything easier for newer players i think that's generally a good thing if you do have more uh visibility and free reign to adjust your skills at a, from paragon level i think that also makes sense i like a lot of what i'm hearing these are all seem like really cool things so let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below ultimately i do think this is a pretty massive w for the game and i'm really curious if or when it'll even come to the game again hopefully in next week's big patch with the tempest but let me know what you think in the comment section below guys until next time hope to see you in a video soon see ya